Sag, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to book a personal, the information is below. If you would like to join members, that information is also on the page. Just log on from a laptop and click join. We're going to say a quick prayer before we jump into it, and then we're going to get started because I'm so excited. I have so much to share with you. Um, Anyway, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Sag on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 8.11 a.m. Today is Friday, June 10th, 2022. I hope you guys are well. I started my morning super, super early. Like, I feel like I've already had a full day, but let's get into it, okay? I'm hearing a ringing in this right ear. Um, you guys could be going through a process. I'm also hearing processing, which makes me think about jail. You can know somebody in jail. Also something about your family. You could have a lot of family members who have went to jail or um, who are in jail. And I feel like there's some type of cord that needs to be cut in your family dynamic if that is the case or if that is a cycle within your family. Also, I was hearing singular, raising the bar. So something about self-service. If not, I feel like you're raising the bar, you're raising the standards, whether this is for yourself or the things that you're entertaining. Also, some of you could be considering going to law school because I'm thinking about the bar exam. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aquarius energy, or you guys are just going through the process of transforming, death and transformation and healing here, focusing on that. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. I was also seeing a microphone. So you could be a lyricist, a poet, a podcaster, a radio station host, something like that. But anything where your voice is projected. I was also hearing Carter. This made me think of Lil Wayne and Jay-Z and Beyonce. So any of them could be dropping an album soon. I'm not sure. I just kept hearing Carter over and over. Also, something about the age of four years old and something about the age when you were 10 years old could be significant. Some of you could have been raised by like an adopted parent or somebody that took the role of your mom or your dad. I was also hearing Franklin the turtle. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Also, you could have half siblings. I was hearing same mom, different dad you guys could be tired of being patient here you could be playing it playing it low-key until you figure out your next move I was also hearing something about Puerto Rico you could be from there traveling there or there could be something significant there also um, there are people that are very proud of you and have a lot of respect for you I was hearing Prada you could be buying something from Prada. Also, I feel like you have another set of people who are side-eyeing you or you could be side-eyeing side somebody. Taurus energy. Um, I was also hearing something about a Lamborghini. Um, watch the last readings where I have on that yellow shirt. Th those could be significant for you. And I was also getting Leo Aquarius energy, so eight. Okay, you guys, are you ready for this? Let's get into the tea before we get into your reading, okay? So I'm going to take y'all through a series of events. Three days ago, <laughs> let's start here. Three days ago, I posted this video for you guys. It was a Virgo reading, right? And I'm just going to highlight this part right here. Wait, sorry, it's so quiet. I forgot. Let me rewind a little bit. Yeah. Just give me a second. It's like falling in love now. It's called Losing Control. You might want to go listen to that song. I think it's by Russ, actually. Yeah, Losing Control. So that was three days ago, right? I'm not, I'm not too aware of everything that's going on in this city, um, especially when it comes to like concerts, things like that. Like I'm out of the loop. And uh, oftentimes I'll delete the Instagram app from my phone just so I could be more focused, more present throughout my day. So this past week, I didn't have Instagram on my phone. Last night, something told me, download Instagram, download Instagram, go on Instagram real quick, right? So there's this page on Instagram that I follow and it's called ATL Scoop and it pretty much keeps us updated. If anybody, a civilian sees anything happening in ATL, they'll record it, put it on their story and this page, they'll reshare it. It has like almost a million followers now, right? So I go on there to kind of see what's going on in my city. And look at this. Apparently there's a rest concert here in Atlanta last night. Um, 
he was performing the song that came up in my reading and then this is the other part yesterday in the cancer reading i had a dream the night before about me attacking somebody like i was straddling this girl i was choking her i was saying how i could see myself from a different angle so something about being on film during that song look what happened <laughs> Like, what? Are you fucking kidding me? I was screaming. Like, I saw this at like 1 a.m. I don't think I ever went back to sleep last night after that because I was just so excited to get on here and see what's going on today. So you guys might want to go check out the Virgo reading or something about this could be significant for you. But I just wanted to share that because I thought it was the craziest thing ever. And if I never re-downloaded Instagram, I would have never seen that. I would have never known. But... It's just amazing. It's really amazing, truly. You can't make this shit up, okay? So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's focus. I feel like we had a reality TV segment real quick. <laughs> yeah. Shuffle for um, Sag. What's going on for Sag? Want more shuffles today? Two more. Yeah, the process, you guys. Something about a turning point could be significant. Shuffle for Sagittarius. What's happening for Sag? Ooh, the chariot in reverse. So some of you guys, if you had plans to move forward or to move something like that, I see your plans kind of coming to a halt. It looks like you guys may meet somebody or you guys have met somebody, Two of Cups energy here, and it's kind of keeping you in the same place. Or we're gonna pull further and really see, but there's some type of a relationship, yeah, Justice on the bottom of the deck, that is making you stand still in some way. Shuffle for Sag. Yeah, before I say anything else, let's just keep going. Shuffle for Sag. Ooh, okay, so for others of you, you could be having some type of resentment. It's like because you were in this situation, because you were in this relationship, you weren't able to take action on something you actually wanted to take action on here. And now I see you're having this regret about it. It's something about the past, Nine of Swords, Six of Cups here, and the Eight of Wands. You missed an opportunity or you didn't take action on something that you wanted here, Eight of Pentacles. So I see you guys just kind of trying to work and balance yourself out. I feel like the more you work, the more you're able to cancel out that resentment or that energy here but in some way you're gonna have some type of justice maybe preceding uh july leading up to july so just be on the lookout for that don't beat yourself up always remember everything in divine timing and if god wanted you there you would be there but yeah six of cups five of cups three of cups in reverse here I'm also getting a situation where you had something like you had something that was very balanced this could have been something from the past but i'm hearing that song by the weekend, I let it go for a little fun. What is that song? Adapted. So his song Acquainted came up the other day. Now I'm hearing the song Adapted, like you have to adapt. The song's all about him having to, to adapt to not having somebody's presence around anymore because of a mistake that he made. So you guys might want to go listen to that song. It could be significant for you now, but I see three, four, five, and six of cups. So I'm also getting actually two, three, four, five, six of cups. The fool, all of this has been building up to something else for you. I feel like there's an element of surprise because only justice came out surrounding that outcome. But just know, I'm hearing it doesn't end here. Yeah, it's not over until the fat lady sings. I don't know why they keep making me say that. <laughs> But Ace of Wands in reverse. You, I'm getting like there's there's something you miss or there's something you have no idea about. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like the universe has like a little surprise behind their back. I'm seeing the universe pull a bunny out of a hat for you. So like magic, I'm hearing. Something about the 24th of this month. So 14, 14 days from now, Sagittarius energy, temperance. Yeah. Shuffle for Sag.
Three of Swords? You guys, are you okay? Some of you could feel betrayed. Um, for some of you, you guys might be upset because I'm seeing a situation. <laughs> I almost said situation and scenario together. I said situ situario, but I see a scenario where it's like somebody could have downplayed something that's important to you with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands. I'm almost getting like somebody tried to insult your intelligence or something like that. Temperance energy right here, Page of Swords in reverse. I'm also getting you had somebody trying to come towards you, but they were just trying to like release their burdens onto you. It wasn't really meant to amount to much with this double page energy, or this could have been energy that you took on and you're just now realizing it. So just put your energy where it resonates here. But the Emperor, Three of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles, there's somebody coming to help you out after all. I'm getting it. Like if this was your situation where you just put burdens on somebody here or whatever it's like spirit kind of had to hold out so you could learn your lesson before they could kind of help you but if somebody did this to you here i feel like they also just wanted to kind of see how you would react you see she's up she's still taking care of what she needs to take care of she's still handling her responsibilities they're just standing here watching her and then it's like last minute they come through and they get you out of the situation so don't worry so if you guys are worried about you know when things are going to change when things are going to move forward i'm getting in august for you in august yeah wheel of fortune but just depending on what side of the spectrum you stand on either you needed to wait and see where you played a part in the problem or you just had to wait for that divine timing to be i don't want to say rescued but rescued from the situation whatever that is for you i'm hearing queen of hearts you're dealing with uh your family or like multiple fire signs yeah the fool in reverse here You've been held up for a reason, but you're going to realize why with the five of, with the moon in reverse and the five of swords upright. And I see you kind of like looking back at the universe like, wow, like I see, I see what y'all have going on, king of swords the whole time. Yeah. So, okay. Queen of cups. I'm hearing egg cleanse, egg cleanse. You might put eggs in your hair. I have hella grease in my hair right now. <laughs> Well, not grease, but like oil. I use this oil on my scalp every night. Shovel for um, Sag. The past, the past, the past, the past. Leave it in the past. Queen of Wands. Literally Six of Cups and then Queen of Wands. That song is Egyptian Lover. But Emperor and the Queen of Wands, as soon as you're able to leave something in the past, emotionally, mentally, whatever, especially within your actions, then you can proceed forward. Then you're taking that front seat and you're taking initiative. But I'm hearing only until then you will remain in whatever position that you're in. Not saying it's a bad one, but if you're looking for change, if you're looking for progression, you too have to progress in order to meet that change where it's at. Shuffle for Sage, yep, eight of cups. Then you can walk away. So the chariot and the eight of cups. So I'm really getting like you're you're understanding what's happening leading into July. Like I feel like during Gemini season, you're just kind of like, what's going on? What's happening? You're just kind of like wallowing in your emotions in some way, wallowing in the past, how things went, how things transpired or how they did it. And then it's like in July, you're understanding like, okay, I understand how this played a part. I understand how I played a part, so on and so forth. And then in August, you're walking away. Then you're able to move forward, okay? So just keep that in mind. Whenever I do that, I feel like a student. Some of you guys could be in college. <laughs> Shuffle for Sag. It's just so hot in here. And I don't understand why the air is literally on 70. Shuffle for Sagittarius. Yeah, so moving forward, it's all about you releasing these burdens that you've accumulated here or realizing like if you burden someone else in some way like making peace with that making peace with the energy you know i'm hearing apologizing to spirit more so than a person yeah ten of cups yeah there's some type of karma that has to be paid i'm getting two okay 
So for some of you, if you've been dealing with an Aquarius or if you've been in a detached perspective about something here, if you know you burdened somebody, if you know you did something wrong and you're not making peace with that, it's like, as long as you're gonna act like you don't, look at him. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I did. I don't know how I played a part here, right? As long as you wanna play like that with the universe, if this is your energy or it could be an Aquarius, the universe is gonna play that same game right back with you. When you can own up and acknowledge, I feel like it's the universe though, if you flip the card around look now now he's like accepting now he's acknowledging now he's making that peace then you can be blessed here not before only after okay so as long as you're just sitting here like throwing stones hiding your hands that's exactly how the world's gonna treat you too so if that's your position then you know but if not then that's somebody else that you're dealing with okay so somebody has to clear the negative karma, yeah. So he, real healing can take place. I feel like that's all that's all spirit is waiting for in order for you to move forward. <laughs> I don't know what I do. Like that's so funny. <laughs> and spirits like there's nobody else in this forest but you. Who did it? Who took the apple? I don't know. <laughs> Joel for Sagittarius. Yeah, but inner truth though. You gotta. You can't just accept half the truth. You got to accept all of the truth, okay? I'm seeing it as like a repent type thing or like, you know, when Catholics, they go to the Pope and they sit behind that um, window and they confess all their sins. I'm seeing it like that. <clears throat> so for so much. The creative. Yes, yes. Literally, this is the worst card there is, and then this is like one of the best cards there is. The abysmal danger, insecurity, overwhelm, unpredictability. This is you like constantly looking over your shoulder just because of that karma that hasn't been cleared yet. As soon as you clear it, I'm getting you're probably gonna do it around the 29th. That's why I said leading into cancer season is important. Around the 29th and then fresh energy for cancer season. Creative energy here. Uh, the active yang principle, strength, uh, inspiration heaven masculinity authority and father now you're taking i'm hearing ownership and you're stepping into that leadership role yeah splitting apart but only w you you had to go through that dark night of the soul or that ego death in order to get there i'm hearing that song by kanye west um i think it's called ego death Yeah, it hurt my ego when you walked away. Yeah, I couldn't think of the lyrics for a minute. Shuffle for Sag. Yeah, and if you feel hurt about something, like, let yourself feel like that. The more that you just block off your emotions, the more damage you're doing to yourself and the more weight you're adding for somebody else to have to deal with later down in the future. And you don't want to do that. So if you feel something, let yourself feel that. Go ahead and cleanse it out, you know? You don't want to hold on to those things. Ace of Swords, 1818 right there. Pisces energy. And I'm hearing, I've heard this before, um, like it's a good thing to be able to stand on both of your feet. It's a good thing to be 10 toes down. I'm, I'm hearing it's more attractive when you hold it down, the star here. So you're gonna, this came out in Cancer's reading yesterday. It was like having values and morality brings you comfort. Same thing for you guys. The more that you know that you're standing in your truth, the more nobody can tell you otherwise, you know? So it's all it's all win-win, queen of wands here. Your reading is very straight to the point today. I like this. Yeah. Some of you guys need to block an X. If you're a feminine energy watching this, there's a King of Wands here. The Eight of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Wands on top of that clarifying. Y'all need to let some situation go if you haven't already. Both of these equaling that 18 there, Pisces energy. So this is either a fire sign or a Pisces or maybe somebody that kept a lot of secrets from you. Somebody that may have weighed you down. Yeah, with the Four of Coins in reverse, maybe if you're still harboring or hanging on to resentment from that situation, just let it go. Because ultimately, like if somebody's not a good person, if somebody only brought you stress, I mean, 
wouldn't you want that out of your life? So if anything, be more appreciative. Be grateful that you got out of that situation. Yeah, the higher font in reverse. Be grateful something, I don't want to say fell apart, but something was dismantled to release you so you can move on with your own life, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups in reverse, actually, because what you didn't see and what you're going to find is you weren't going to experience any Ten of Cups with that relationship with that person. So anything from the past, you guys just go ahead and release it so you can experience these blessings because there's so much waiting for you, judgment. Like there's so many waiting for you. There is a Leo reading that I have, and this is on the thumbnail. You guys might want to go watch that. I can't recall what it's called, but um, yeah, it could be significant for you. Shuffle for Sag. I'm hearing TP. That could be your initials or like TP. Toilet paper, somebody could like play a prank on you or you could be a jokester. You guys might need to get back. If you are that class clown energy, if you are that, you know, joking energy, you guys need to get back into that. So whether you need to hang out with kids, your family, your siblings, whatever brings you to that jokester type of spirit where you're more lighthearted, carefree, that's the energy that you need to be in right now because you manifest seamlessly that way. When you're all uptight and serious, like that is not Sagittarius energy. I think of Sag as like a bird. Like you guys just, yeah, somebody's crossing over in front of me. You guys just go where you want to go. When you're done with that place, you go to the next place. When you're done with that place, you go to that place. Like imagine Sag just all tense and like that. That's, yeah, this is even in reverse. Some of you guys, you're not even like craving intimacy. You don't want to be like touch you just want to be left alone so that's not you so you guys i'm hearing you're not you when you're hungry you guys need to get back into your fire aspect somehow and i feel like you can only do that by gaining a higher perspective seeing that you didn't lose out on anything you didn't miss out on anything that's meant for you and then you can move forward peacefully and i feel like a lot of that when you guys don't get your way it's more so that ego of not getting your way so that ego death energy gemini energy is letting it go yeah. And then look, on the bottom of this, it says moving forward, period. Okay, two more, two more. Shuffle for Sag. Yep, the truth. I think we got it. Yep, conflict in reverse. We got it. I'll just pull these for fun. So yeah, it's time for you guys to make some sacrifices. Your birthday could be December 4th. But as soon as you do this, you'll be able to stand in your power, death and transformation on the bottom of the deck. Some of you have lots of Scorpio on your chart where you could be on the cusp. But yeah, all majors, all majors when you heal, all majors when you let this shit go. You only pull the majors, literally. Anything else? Get back in your energy. That's what we were just talking about. Sagittarius energy. I'm hearing Debbie Downer. Your name could be start with a D or you could have two Ds as initials. You could have really big, I'm hearing Tatas. I've never called boobs that before. <laughs> you could say that. Oh, you could have bought some too. I see this nine of pentacles here. <laughs> but okay, shuffle for Sag. You could be a new aunt. I'm hearing TT as well, yeah. Like I'm seeing it, say you have a sister, right? They just had a baby. You and your sister could look a lot alike, but it's like when the baby gets to you, the baby still thinks like, or still feels like it's the mother because you guys are sisters and they could be like reaching for you, you know, your tatas instead. Like I see you holding a baby and being like, wait, no, 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 I'm not your mom. Hearing babies hungry, take it how it resonates. But yeah, that's all I have for you. They're saying wrap it up here. We're gonna leave it there. Just make sure you listen very intricately to this message because there's something worth hearing in it. And I wish you guys the best moving forward. Um, yeah, God bless. <laughs>